In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with your brand new Ultimaker 2 Plus or Ultimaker 2 Extended Plus. Um, the first thing we'll do is get it unboxed. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is bring the printer over to a nice flat surface and then we'll need to unclip this uh, belt and remove the polystyrene packaging. And the first piece here has got um, a spool of PLA in the front and you've got a sample print there that was um, used to print um, on this printer in the factory just to check that it's working okay. We've got the accessories box here, which is packed on the top. We'll take a closer look at that shortly. Just remove the back piece of polystyrene now. Okay, there's no extra bits in that, so we'll put that to one side. And then finally, there's a piece underneath the printer. So if I just lift that up, and we'll take that away. So here's your Ultimaker 2 um, out of the polystyrene. Uh, you've got another test print there um, that's printed in the factory as well. Um, and you'll find that, it, so it's worth removing that just to make sure it doesn't cause any problems. So the next thing that you'll need to remove is the bubble wrap on the uh, just underneath the build plate here. And the best way to do this is to just put your hands either side and just gently pull up. That'll give you a bit of space and take off the blue tape and then just pull it out. And then slowly lower the plate back down again. Another way to do this is to manually rotate the threaded bar, but it is a bit greasy, um, so this way is probably the easiest. Um, Another part of the packaging that you'll need to remove before printing is a red cable tie, which is just on the axis rods here. Okay, so now we'll take a closer look at the accessories box. Just open that up. And you've got a quick start guide um, along with our business card. The glass bill plate. And there's a calibration card, which we'll use shortly. And another brochure. In the right hand compartment you've got the power lead and the nozzle kit which contains your alternate nozzles. Uh, in the middle one is the second part to the power lead. left we've got the spool holder and a small pack with some accessories in just open that up for you there's a USB cable which we use for updating the firmware a glue stick some grease and three Allen keys, which you can use for maintenance on this machine. So the next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is to uh, install the glass bill plate. And this just goes inside the machine and you just make sure you locate it under the small metal clips. And you've got two on the front here as well. Just clip those in like that. And that's ready to go. The next thing to do is to install the um, spool holder and that just clips onto the back. Find the holes, squeeze the two sides and then that goes in there. Now we need to uh, connect the power. 
So we just connect the two parts of the power lead together and then plug in at the back. There's a small collar on the, uh, on the connector. You just need to pull back when you insert it and that will hold it in nice and tight. Okay, so now we're ready to power on the machine. Um, we do that just by pressing the switch on the back and you'll be greeted with um, this message. And it'll basically take you through a wizard uh, to get everything ready. So if we press continue and then continue again, it will raise the plate up so that we can calibrate and make sure that the, uh, the build plate is nice and level. So press continue again and the print head should go to the center at the back of the machine. And at this point you want to rotate the dial just to bring the bill plate up to the nozzle. And you want this to be about a millimeter away. To get it nice and close, not too close, but around about a millimeter, that looks fine. And then press continue and it'll ask us to, uh, to fine tune the front left. And to do this, we just want to use the, the small screws on the underside of the bill plate here. And you can turn those right like this. Just make sure they're about a millimeter away. And we'll do the same for the front right. But that actually looks fine to me, so I think I'll leave that where it is. And if you press continue, um, we'll now go through a further stage of calibration, which will just get it even more level. So now we need our calibration card. And you want to slide this between the nozzle and the bill plate. And there should be enough room. Uh, so then you want to turn the screw at the back on the underside of the bill plate. Just bring the plate gradually closer to the nozzle and keep sliding the calibration card back and forth until you feel a slight bit of resistance. That feels pretty good to me. So now we'll go over to the front left and do the exact same. Slide the calibration card in and tighten it up. And that's just the perfect amount of um, resistance there. Finally, we'll do this for the front right, just by turning the screw on the underside again and sliding the calibration card uh, back and forth. If, you, if you're unable to move the calibration card, you know you've got it too close um, and then you just need to loosen off the screws. So now I'll press continue again. And the bed will lower like that. Um, and now we're ready to insert our material. So uh, you'll take your chosen material. Uh, in this case, we're using hot thread. Uh, take that round to the back of the machine. And hook it onto your spool holder. Just clicks into place. And then you want to make sure that you have a clean cut on the end of the filament just to make sure it loads properly. And um, so it's worth using some cutters just to cut a slight angle as well on the end. And you can also just straighten the first inch or so just to, just to make sure that it goes in nicely. Now we go over to the front and press continue and it'll begin to heat up the, uh, the hot end. Okay, so you can see by the progress bar that this is heating up nicely. And once it's fully up to temperature, the feeder at the back will begin to rotate and take our material. And you should hear it click into action. And if you just give it a slight push, the filament that is, just give it a slight push in, you should feel it um, take a grip of the filament and start to feed it in on its own. And at that point, you can come back around to the front and press continue. And this will speed up the feeder and load your filament all the way around to the nozzle. Then it will slow down and it'll do a final slow feed just to get 
just to get it right to the nozzle and start to extrude. And you just want to wait for a minute until you see the material start to come out. And here you go, you can see it's coming out now. It might be a different colour initially um, to the one you've loaded. Um, this will just depend on the material they've used in the factory to calibrate your machine. Okay, so now we've got a good flow of our new colour. We'll press continue. And then we'll need to select the material that we've inserted. Uh, you get PLA in the box, and we've inserted a spool of PLA here. So we'll select PLA. Then it asks you to confirm this. So you'll just click yes. And now we're ready to get going with our first print. So press continue again, and then select that we're ready. It then gives you another option, just to make sure that you're ready to print. Um, and so we'll click let's print. This will take us to all the preset files that are on our SD card. Um, so if we select one, we can get that underway. And the first thing that the printer will do is to raise the bed up to the print head and it will begin to extrude a small amount of material in the front left hand corner and this is just to ensure that you get a good even flow of material before the print starts and once it's ready the whole print head will move over to the middle and begin laying down the first few layers but while that's printing I'll show you the software to do this you want to go to our website and then go into software and select Cura this will then give you a link to the Ultimaker site and you'll be able to click download and select the type of user that you are and enter all your details. It might not prompt you for this but if it does just enter them. So then once you've opened up Cura for the first time you can just drag in your STL file and you can move the model around also gives you the option to rotate if you wish and scale as well you can do that by dragging or entering the, the uh, numbers in the, the window as well you need to select the correct nozzle uh, standard it's a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and material and we're using PLA for this one and then select a profile depending on the detail that you want you can select a support structure too just by clicking this box and there are also options for platform adhesion too. And then once you're ready to save, just click on the save icon at the top left and enter a memorable name and save it to the SD card. So that's our print finished. And if we just remove that from the bed, you can take a closer look at it. And it's worth noting that we didn't apply any glue stick to the plate for this print. As it's quite small, it's not necessary. Um, but on larger prints, you might want to um, apply a thin layer on the glass uh, just to help it stick down. There are some other products available that you're able to use with the Ultimaker. Um, BuildTac is one of those and worth taking a look, especially if you're printing in ABS. Uh, but that's, that's pretty much everything to get you up and running. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to leave them in the uh, comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.